Hey guys, uh, J Designs here. Um, I'm gonna show you how to rotate text in Cinema 4D. Um, I just learned how to do this because I got MoGraph because I didn't type in the codes right. So now I got it. I'm happy. Yay. Okay, first you want to open up Cinema 4D. Might take a while, and you want to uh, click on the third clipboard where your settings are. Make sure the output is 1280 by 720 and save you want that PNG alpha channel and straight alpha check them off and you want to come out to mo graph up on the top and you want to click on uh, text object and it should bring up a 3d text so you don't have to go bother through um, uh, trying to make your text 3d with extreme nerves is already done so you want to go under object when you have text object up and you want to put the depth 100 and type whatever you want in. Right now I'll make an agency a new background. Xbox division. Uh Batman Forever I wanna use. Cause I I, I like this text, but it looks good when you're rotating it. When you rotate it and then put fire near it and stuff like that. Now at the bottom of here don't worry about that. That's my um. Uh, that's my uh, materials that I made, and I just like saved them. So now you want to click. Okay, click you now you want to click up here and go to text object and press Control C, Control V, and then it should make a new text object, and it'll make text object one. Make make the depth 50 under object. Rotate your text to the side. Wow. Okay, now it's 50, rotate your text to the side. I'm going to put it in the middle. It looks good. Alright, now we got that. You want to make the caps under text object 1. Make the caps uh, f for start and end fillet cap. And make the radius 5, just keep it like that. It looks fine. Now you want to come over here and make your materials. Um, yeah, whatever materials you want, um, just make them and then just drag them on here because I'm not, I already made my materials on a different day when I was just sitting in here. So now I have that, um, just stop the video and just make your stuff and then continue on. Um, now you want to come up here to text object and text object one. You want to highlight both of them and you want to press uh, C and I'll make text object one and you will have all your letters and stuff and text object well, first you want to go to text object plus plus then you'll bring up your letters highlight only your letters that are out right now and drag them above text object one and just drop them until you see a little uh, arrow pointing to the side and it should drop down now we lost our color but that's fine um, you want to first come over here and you want to press uh you want to press control c and then you just drag it up here oh fuck sometimes it messes up or sometimes it's just me wow fail alright there we go then you want to click off cause then it'll just like continuously building up colors just click off, control C, control C, click off, and continue. You bring up your colors. Alright, now that that set of letters is done, you can um you can now delete text object the first one and you'll still have your letters and you want to go to text object one and uh do the same thing, highlight your letters, drag it out here, drag it underneath of that. And now you wanna uh well you do the same exact thing the first time, but I'm not adding a color because I like that gray in the back. So, um, just continuously, like when it has that little color right here, when you pick your second color, um, just press Control C and do the same thing we did with the green. And then, there you go. And then you, after you're done that, you can delete that text object and you should have only your letters. Now you want to mat, you want to match up your A with other A down here because you have two sets of A's two sets of G's, E's, N's, C's, and Y's or whatever 
your name is that you're doing. Then you want to um drag your A right underneath of the uh second A. And then I drag the G underneath of there. E and so on. If you don't get what I'm doing, you're fucking retarded. Uh, it's okay. I cursed. Uh oh. All right. So now you got that. Now you think you're done. Yeah. Now you want to highlight the A's, right? So you want to go over here and then just like, hold on. Why isn't this working? Alright, so you want to come out to your Y's, whatever. It's easier to do it to the, towards the bottom. And you want to um, press Alt G. It should make a null object. And highlight both of the C's. Alt G. Highlight both of the N's. Alt G. And so on. Alright, now you have that. Now we're done. Now just click on here, and then uh, come over here and go to rotate, and then you can rotate your letters. There we go, and that's how you do it. Um, any questions on how to do this and stuff? Um, let me know. I'll teach you. Um. So that's how you do 3D text. Um, my GFX pack comes out at 300 subs, which these materials will be included in it. But you got uh, some ice. You got uh, it, it, I don't know what it is. I I don't even know. I just made it. Um, shiny, shiny, you know all that stuff. So yeah, um, please subscribe. Yeah, I'm um, looking for 300 subs, and uh, please comment. Um, I'll I'll uh, comment back if you have any questions and stuff. So, yeah, um, have a good day, and J Designs is out. Peace.